everyone brags about their LDL numbers, but here's the truth. You could have normal LDL and still be headed straight for a heart attack. The real danger isn't LDL, it's ApoB. And if you're not testing it, you're actually blind. You have high cholesterol. I'm going to prescribe you a statin to lower it. Mm -hmm. And here's the wild part. You can have LDL over 300, but if your ApoB is under 80, your risk is very low. No reason for statins. Meanwhile, someone with perfect LDL at 100, but ApoB of 140, they're sitting on a time bomb. See, your LDL might look safe, your ApoB might be sky high, and if you don't know the difference, every ribeye you eat is a gamble. So let's destroy the most dangerous myth in cardiology. LDL cholesterol predicts heart disease. Absolutely wrong. Now look at this data from Quebec Cardiovascular Study. 2,072 men, 13 years, LDL under 100, but ApoB over 120, four times higher heart attack risk. LDL over 160, but ApoB below 90, normal risk. Let that sink in for a second. A guy with LDL of 160 is safer than someone with LDL of 100 if ApoB flips the script. Thousands of people walk around celebrating their normal cholesterol while their arteries are under attack. And here's what really happening in your blood. See, when you eat steak, your liver packages fat and cholesterol into trucks called lipoproteins. LDL measures the cargo. ApoB counts the trucks. A person, let's say person A, five big trucks, each carrying 20 units of cholesterol, that's equivalent to 100 LDL, five ApoB particles. Person B, 20 small trucks, each carrying 5 units of cholesterol, that's 100 LDL, 20 ApoB particles. Same LDL, 4 times the risk. That's why ApoB beats LDL every single time. Interheart study, 30,000 people, 52 countries. ApoB was the strongest predictor of heart attack worldwide. Stronger than LDL, stronger than total cholesterol, stronger than triglycerides. For ApoE4 carriers or hyper-responders, high saturated fat often means more trucks, same cargo, dangerous particle overload. See, the carnivore community has a blind spot here. People brag my LDL dropped from 180 to 120 on carnivore. Meanwhile, ApoB jumps from 85 to 145. Now that's a problem. I've tested 346 long-term carnivores. Here's what I found. 38% have ApoB over 120 despite normal LDL. 12% are in extreme danger zone with ApoB over 140. 73% have never tested ApoB at all. And carnivore gurus saying cholesterol doesn't matter are misleading you. ApoB does matter and pretending otherwise is reckless. So here's the minimum panel every carnivore needs to order. ApoB target is below 80 if you're in a high risk, target below 60. LP small a is a genetic, usually it's about 20% elevated. LDLP via NMR for particle count. Oxidized LDL for damage markers. LPPLA2, which is arterial inflammation. Now, testing 
schedule should be baseline three months in and then every six months. If your doctor says APOB is unnecessary, fire them. That's 1995 medicine. In 2025, APOB is non-negotiable. Now, if APOB comes back elevated, here's how to fix it without abandoning carnivore. Tier 1 supplement stack. Now, this is evidence-backed. Berberine, 500 milligrams, 2 to 3 times daily, lowers APOB by about 15 to 25%. Omega-3, EPA, DHA of 3 to 4 grams, enlarges particle size. Bergamot extract, BFH, 47%. 600 to 1200 milligrams lowers ApoB and LDLC. Magnesium 400 to 800 milligrams improves particle clearance. Now tier number two, fat source modification. Less butter, cream, fatty ribeye every meal. More fatty fish, lean red meat balance. Oh, by the way, if you really want to eat as our ancestors have done, they hunted, right? Meaning, wild animals are very lean. Only fats came from bone marrow. Isn't that interesting? Optional, if you like olive oil, clean source, macadamia, or even avocados, feel free to add that. Now, tier number three, strategic additions. Occasional berries if uh, available per season. It does contain anthocyanins, improves particle function. Occasional carb refeeds for metabolic flexibility. Time restricted eating enhances particle clearance. See, not everyone thrives long term on pure carnivore. Genetic matters. About 25% are hyper responders to saturated fat. For them, ApoB skyrockets. Coaches telling clients to ignore ApoB of 180 are playing with lives. Carnivore can reverse diabetes, autoimmune disease, and mental health struggles. But ignoring ApoB is a freaking mistake. Your health is more important than dietary dogma. Test your ApoB, adjust if needed. That's how you thrive long term. We have no path, no way to go. A system they won't let show They line their pockets while we stay low Every pill they push another blow We have no future, we can't see clear They profit off pain, they feed on fear We are suppressed by the lies they steer No path, no future, we're stuck right here Keep us sick just to keep us paying. White coats smile, but what are they saying? Behind the script, there's a game they're playing. A needle in the dark keeps hope decaying. We have no future, we can't see. what they began rise above with open hands no futures theirs when we take a stand we have no future we can't see clear 